everybody, welcome to All Kids Toys. Today I'm going to show you how to make banana bread. I, you're going to be needing um, a mix of banana bread. I already put it inside. You're going to need two eggs, which I already did, and one cup of water and one third cup of oil, a spoon. And if you are wanting to know which type of mix I'm using, I'm using quick bread muffin mix too. Okay, you can just look at it for a minute. So, the mix actually smells really good. So, we're gonna put this. Now we're gonna put the water in. I'm gonna pour the water in. It should look sorta like this. Okay, so after you're done with that, I'm going to put the eggs in because it's the next thing I like to do. Put it in. We're going to even put the yellow thingies. My eggs sunk down, which is good. Now you're going to go get one third cup of oil. One third of oil for me. Cup. Yep. Gonna pour it into our mixture. Okay. I'm gonna keep there. Now we are okay. So you can. Your drink should look like this. Now we are going to mix. You should mix for about five minutes. So after I'm done mixing, I will come right back. You can pause the video right now and start mixing. You can mix with a Wix or a blender, but I recommend doing a spoon because then it's more homemade. You, you should mix like this. Like kind of you're holding a pencil, kind of not. Just gonna do that. The thing I like to do is get it, and then if it it should come out in a silky one way, or else it's not good. After you're done making your mix, you are going to go spray your pan with non-stick cooking spray or anything like that. Okay, that's easy. Now you're gonna pour it in. I'm gonna do that right now. Forgot to mention this. If your thing comes off the pan, you can easily do that. I'm gonna just use this, or you can use your hand or a napkin. Put it around all of the sides. I'm using a 12 muffin pan. So, yeah. I'm gonna put that on the side. So after you're done with that, you're going to go get your mix batter, but if you should try, it should have no lumps. Banana bread for me, it never usually has lumps, but now you're going to pour it. I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to take a little while. Okay, I put all of it, the mix in. Um, two of them got left out. Now we are going to go put some blueberries in them. I have like a little blueberries because... Um, we kind of used it for, we used some blueberries for oatmeal. So I'm thinking about putting a little bit of blueberries in each. Just gonna push them a little. Yeah. I should have mixed these in with the batter. Okay, I'll come right back when all my blueberries are done. Now we're all done. Now you're going to need help from a parent. I'm going to ask my dad, Papa, come here. He's going to help me put this in the oven. You're going to need the oven temperature to be set as 350, and you're going to bake this for 30 minutes. Let's go. We have just put the um, muffins in. Now we just have to wait. While we're waiting for the muffins to be done, make sure 
let's maybe like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you know whenever I post videos. When the oven is starting to like beep, beep, like that, that means it's time to go get a parent. Let's take it out and bring it right here. Okay, we just got our muffins out. Now we're gonna do the toothpick test. If you don't know what the toothpick test is, then it's when you put the toothpick into the place, or like cake, or whatever you're baking, and if it comes out dirty, like has crumbs on it, that means it's bad, and you need to bake it more. But if it comes out clean, then it's good. For blueberry muffins, you don't put the toothpick in the blueberry because obviously it will get dirty. I'm gonna show you. Put it in. I wait for like five seconds or like 10 seconds, which is probably fast by now. It is all clean, so yay. That is how you make blueberry banana muffins. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you know when I post videos. Bye!